Good evening, everyone. Today is still Friday, December 15th, 2023. I want to thank all of y'all. I'm talking about thank you for all the support, for um, subscribing, for rocking with me from day one and, and to the ones that are new. I want to thank y'all. This is my passion. I'm not doing it for money. Contrary to what some haters believe, I just love to talk. I have a lot of stuff that's on my mind. I've been observing all my life. I've been like just a talker. But seeing how the world is nowadays, you can't really talk to people now. You know, people are so crazy and weird. So I just been having all these thoughts and ideas on my mind. And because of this YouTube channel, now I'm able to express what's on my mind with y'all, which is a lot of stuff. So I got a lot more to come. And uh, I, I I really thank y'all. I'm like I'm I'm flattered by the comments, the compliments, and the disagreements. To the people that disagree with things that I may say, I love y'all too, and you're welcome. As long as there's no disrespect, y'all ain't gotta agree with me. Some things you're gonna agree. Just hang around. You're gonna agree with some things I say. Now, just it might be something you don't disagree, but sooner or later you will agree. And that's human. That's just hum, being human, right? You're not supposed to agree on everything. But I still thank y'all for showing up. I'm gonna do my best to uh, bring some quality content, some things that make you think, and uh, we're gonna we're gonna keep it rocking, right? So, one of my friends, which is you guys, y'all can send me questions. You know, if you have topics or whatever, something you want to hear me discuss, I'm welcome to, you know, you're welcome to do that and I'll get right to it. So this was a topic that one of my friends, which is you guys, asked me to discuss. And it's a woman speaking on relationships. Well, not relationship, dating nowadays. She's single and she's dating, right? And I got bad news for y'all. Whether you're a man or a woman, if you're out here dating nowadays, the dating pool has pee in it. Waste, trash, garbage. There are dating options out here, whether you're a man or a female. I mean, yeah, man or woman, rather. I'm, I'm tired, y'all. Bear with me. Whether you're a man or a woman, if you're out here dating nowadays, got bad news for you. It's fucked up. It really is. I'm going to delve, delve in on both sides, what the men are going through, trying to find a decent woman to date, and what the men and what the women are going through, trying to find a decent man to date. And I want to give this message to anyone that's in a solid, strong relationship, that's been in that relationship for years, or if you're married and you've been married for years. You may not be happy right now, and everything might not be going the way you want it to go in your marriage or relationship. But if it's not involving adultery where you're not being cheated on, that you know of, you're not being mentally or physically abused, you know, somebody putting their hands on you or somebody putting you down, tearing you down, things are just kind of like stale right now, you know, it's just not, you know, it ain't as fiery, it ain't as exciting as it was in the beginning. If that's all you're dealing with and you're thinking about leaving because it's getting on your nerves or... Uh, I was asking you, well, you know, they're just nagging you, whatever. And you ain't happy, and you're thinking about getting out. And you want to end it. Y'all been married or been in a relationship for years, but he or she is just getting on your nerves. They're not beating you, not abusing you, you ain't caught them cheating, none of that. They're just getting on your nerves, and you're not happy. And you're thinking about getting out here, finding you somebody better. Because, you know, you feel like, you know, y'all at the end of the road, they ain't going to get no better, blah, 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 blah. This message right here, this little, stay your ass where you at. I'm telling you, with God love, stay where the fuck you at. You bring your ass out here, thinking what you got at home is bad. Because I ain't talking about no cheating. Now, the cheat, y'all heard me. I ain't got to keep on repeating that. But, well, maybe I do because some people act like they hard to understand. Y'all be seeing them in the com comments, whatever. 
if you with somebody right now, but and, and they're halfway decent, and they, it ain't gonna never be perfect. It seemed like it's perfect in the beginning. That's just normal. That puppy love, uh, infatuation, all that. I'm talking about people that then kind of like got entrenched in that relationship, and it ain't perfect no more. And you get on your nerves, or she get on your nerves. Stay there. Hold what you got. Some people say, well, you know, it ain't nothing wrong with being single. It ain't nothing wrong with being alone or whatever. They full of shit. That is a lie. We are not meant to be alone. Everybody wants somebody. Well, if I can't find nobody that's on my standards or whatever, you know what I'm saying, I, I ain't going to settle. And I don't blame you. But don't be out here lying saying, ain't nothing wrong with being single. It's okay to be single. No, it's not. It's okay to be alone. No, it's not. Man was not meant to be alone. Who said that? Not me, the creator. Okay, depending on what you believe. And like people have been to prison before. When you're in prison and you get in trouble in prison, right? One of the worst punishments they give you is put you in the hole. The hole is where they put you somewhere alone by yourself. That's all they do. They don't beat you. Well, some, sometimes they beat you, but that ain't, they ain't supposed to beat you. The punishment in and of itself is them isolating you from other people. Putting you what they call the hole. You're in a cell by yourself. In a small room by yourself. They put you alone as punishment. So how y'all gonna sit out here and say being alone ain't the, ain't no, it ain't no, you know, it's okay. When prison they use that as punishment for people that done some of the worst things in life, putting them alone is punishment. And y'all out here saying being single by yourself ain't that bad, ain't, you know, ain't no big deal. It is. So if you got some, I ain't telling the people that are saying that to settle for some bullshit. What I'm saying is to the people that already got somebody that they've been with for years and they're getting on your nerves, sit your ass down. Because if you come out here, you're going to be alone for a long time. Probably for the rest of your life. If you let go of what you got now, you're probably going to be alone for the rest of your life because ain't shit out here to replace them. Whatever's out here is worse than what you got at home. I guarantee it. Now, let's get into what's out here. My friend, she's a woman who said, you know, when she meets somebody new, the first thing the man start doing is talking about sex. I ain't even went out on a date yet. Don't know, don't even know if she got a dick. She might be a, tra a tranny or whatever you call them. She might have a dick. He don't even know. He don't know this woman. First thing out of his mouth, some woman he just met grown folk. That's my kids, high school, talking grown ass men. First thing out of the mouth is sex. That's what the women are facing out here right now, ladies who ready to leave their husband or their old man or whatever, cause he getting on her nerves. That's what's waiting on your ass out here. You call yourself when you you know you done got over your husband or whatever, now you ready to go date again and meet somebody new. First thing that clown gonna ask you about, what's up with that pussy? Yeah. Grown look men look like they got that shit together, mature looking men that you think got it together. First thing he gonna ask you, what's up with that pussy? I ain't bought you a hamburger yet. Yeah. She said, as a matter of fact, these dudes coming right out asking her, can I eat that thing? Some new dude you just met. First thing out of his mouth, can he eat you? Ladies, how you like that? Cause she said it turns her off. That was out here. Now for the men. You ready to leave your old lady? She getting on your goddamn nerves, talking all that shit, nagging you, right? So you come on out here thinking, you know, hey, I can get in, I can get another woman, blah, blah, blah. Okay, fellas, come on out here then. Cause the women out here now, you don't even know if she a woman. Dick might be this goddamn long. You don't even know it. One of the most beautiful women you ever seen in your life, dick this big. Okay, and if you ain't got that to deal with, first thing out of her mouth, she she go to bitching about her bills. I don't know how I pay my rent. Rent twelve hundred dollars a month. How you been? You ain't know me. She's talking about her rent, all her personal business, financial personal business, brother. She got eight kids, about ten baby daddies. All of them crazy. Two of them just finna get out of prison soon. 
Yeah, come on out here, fella. Not without here waiting on you. The dating pool has pee in it. Anybody that's single out here that, that's been trying to date for a while, y'all know what I'm talking about. That's why I'm chilling. Mm -mm. Soon you meet a woman nowadays, fella. She got eight different dudes she hollering at. All of them sleeping with them. Yep. She gonna tell you, you gotta wait for it. She wanna take it slow. She dating with a purpose. She trying to find her soulmate. She want a relationship. And eight other dudes blowing her back out right now. Telling you, she looking for a soulmate. She gonna keep fucking them dudes until she find a lame or a simp that's ready to settle down and be her man in her older age cause she been out here fucking off all her life. Now she better settle down. That's what I hear waiting on you, player. I got something for the men and the women now. I'm just for, just for everybody. I ain't put, this ain't just for the women, this ain't just for the, just for everybody. The dating pool got pee in it. We living in the world right now, ain't no love out here. Like Bobby Blue Bland said, ain't no love in the heart of the city, baby. Ain't no love out here for you. Ain't no more genuine love. If what can I do for you? What can you do for me? It's a business transaction. Ain't no love out here. And I agree with y'all later when y'all say you ain't gonna settle. If you're already single, don't settle. I'm just I'm when I say deal with the bullshit you got going on at home, that's for somebody who already with somebody. If the bullshit is bearable, deal with it. Cause being alone ain't fun. We finna find out what the lonely do for cripples again. A lot of us finna find out again what the lonely do for Christmas. And a lot of us have been knowing for many of Christmases what the lonely do. You don't want to find out. So hang on in there with what you got unless it's just, you know, abuse, shit like that, cheating. And the women out here and the men out here saying they ain't going to sell them, I don't blame you. I ain't selling either. So, most likely, since you ain't gonna settle, and I don't advise you to settle, you're gonna be single for the rest of your life, cause these people out here, men and women, are full of dog shit. Not just regular dog shit. Hot steaming, the smoke coming up off of the dog shit. People don't want shit. All women want is money. All men want is cat. Dudes out here fucking in and everything moving. No protection. Women, same thing. I was watching a video, man, where a woman was talking about she was crying because she pregnant by a dude she met at the club, went outside, had sex with her with no rubber, and got pregnant. Now, she don't know what she gonna do. She don't know where he at. They just met in the club. They don't even know. Ain't exchange numbers, don't know each other, nothing. She was drunk, he was looking good, blah, blah, blah. Went out there, knocked and did it in the club parking lot. She come up pregnant, don't know where he at, where he live, what his name is, nothing. That's how it's going down out here. So, ladies, just know, these dudes gonna ask you for some cat as soon as y'all meet. Fellas. These women gonna ask you for some money as soon as y'all meet. There are some good women and good men out here. That ain't what I'm saying. I ain't saying they ain't out here. But boy, they few and far between. I made a video about taking a good woman, treating her good and taking care of her because if you got one, that's like a diamond right now. If you got a good woman, that's a diamond. And yes, your ass should take care of her because of what's out here. Take care of her because it's bullshit that's out here. That, that's all I'm saying, fellas. If you got one, ain't many, of, ain't many dudes got one, is what I'm saying. Ladies, if you got a good man, he just get on your fucking nerve, you better take care of him too. Cause it's some bullshit out here, boy. It's some bullshit out here. It ain't never been like this. 
This is a godless world. That man you talking to might be a woman and that woman you talking to might be a man. This is a godless world. That man you talking to might be a dope fiend behind your back and you don't even know it. Powder head, crack head, you don't even know. He looking good. That woman you talking to might be a hooker. Might be on OnlyFans. Taking girl trips, you think. She somewhere up in Atlanta at a swingers bar. People out here doing in and every goddamn thing. The pastor wife popping off. Getting it popping. The pastor is, a, is gay. And preach every Sunday about homosexuality is an abomination. Bring your ass on out here in, in this dating world. The dating pool got pee in it. You don't want this. It is not all right to be single. The ones that are out here single because they ain't got no choice. It's fucked up. They don't want to be single. Everybody got the, the desire with, engraved in them by nature to have a partner. We don't want to be single. So therefore, if you ain't able to do what you require by nature to do because the people out here are so fucked up, it's going to be many days where you're going to feel a void, something missing, because you don't have your other half. Male or female, you don't have your other half because people out here just, uh, last days, I don't know what it is. We, it's the last day. I don't know. But it's fucked up out here for single people and for people in relationships. Nine times out of ten, if you married, your spouse cheating on you. That good husband and wife you think you might have. I, I hate to say that too. I got I got to throw this in there to the people that are in relationships, married, relationship or whatever. It's a good possibility that that husband and wife of yours are cheating. You might be faithful, but this possibility is the one you with ain't. Depending on if you're lucky enough to find a person that just chill, antisocial like me. I, I don't want to, not that I'm a saint and that I ain't capable of cheating. My thing is I don't want to be bothered with people. That keeps me out the streets and out of, out of everybody's face. I don't like folks. But other than, I'm, I'm a different breed. I'm a rare breed. Like, I'm fucked up in the head. <laughs> My anti-social, or whatever you call it, keep me out of pussy. Not me being just such a hell of a man. I don't like people. Male or female. If you're a woman in my life, you the motherfucker. You the great-ass person. Other than that, I don't fuck. I don't like nobody. I'm like, what's the boy say? I don't like niggas. I don't like bitches. I don't like nobody. I really don't. So if I rock with you, you special. Which ain't many special people out here. But other than that, if you ain't got somebody like that, everybody out here fucking. Married or single. When I call myself out here hollering at different women or whatever, doing my thing, the married dudes and the gay women was, was beating my time. Like, goddamn. And the pastors. I'm sharing women with pastors. It is what it is. So, hold what you got if you got somebody. You know what I'm saying? If you don't, I ain't saying they, if you don't know they're cheating, it's like most likely they're cheating. But if you ain't caught them or don't know, you, you can't worry about that. As long as they're doing, showing you right, respecting you, doing what they're supposed to do towards you, as long as they're showing you respect and you ain't caught them, don't even worry about it. Don't even worry about that shit. If they ain't brought you no diseases, you ain't got caught, they ain't caught you, they ain't doing it. But I'm telling you, most likely they are. But you can't worry about that. This world we're living in, that's the best you're going to get. Hey, it is what it is. Big Ward, I'm just, hey. I done observed all this shit, and I'm just here to spread the message to y'all. Be careful out here. If you're single, now we're going to cue up the song, What Do the Lonely Do for Christmas? Cause right about now, in this day and time, 2023 and on beyond, we're probably going to be single for the rest of our lives. If you're single. The rest of your fucking life. 
get adapted to it, get used to it, get you a dog, get you a cat. I'm sick of y'all winning with them goddamn roses because I can't compete with those. <laughs> a little human in this sad time we're living in, but uh, it is what it is. So to my friend that wanted me to touch on that topic right there about you know how it is the guy asking you for pussy right off the bat, Tell him he want to eat you. Don't even know if you got a dick. He might call himself thinking he's going to eat you. And he's going to be sucking a dick. Don't even know it. He don't know you like that. He don't care. These dudes out here are weird. The women are weird. People are weird. So, take it with a grain of salt. Take it how you want to take it. I know I can cuss, but I'll get a little passionate sometimes about when I'm, when I'm talking. But hey, it's all out of love, baby. Be careful out here. Take care of yourself. Take care of your family. Do the best you can do to be happy. Just be happy. Don't worry about all the other shit. Just be happy. Y'all have a blessed day.